The Life of Death by Nightmare Darkness Read by Deathlight Chapter 12 Spiky Wiky Dishcurve wiped away a tear. As my expression showed that I was less than enthusiastic about dealing with another dragon. Know any? I asked. The world dragon, or Henry as he's known, Lucifer said. Pass, any pony else? I inquired. Lucifer shrugged as Discord stood up and walked over. Should burn that last parade for their last visit to Henry. But I happen to know another dragon if you can call him that. Discord smiled mildly. Is he a dragon or not? I asked pointedly. He is, but a young one, Discord said. I waited for him to explain more, but he was quiet until I finally asked. What is his name? Where can I find him? Discord's smile seemed a bit off, but he answered. Mikey and Wikey, and he lives in Ponyville. He said, sounding serious for the first time. Spiky Wikey? I said as if it was a joke. Yes, he lives in the town library, with a unicorn named Twiler Twig. He said, rolling his wrist. Okay, I'll go get the Spiky Wikey from Twiler Twig's place. I bring him back to light the furnace. I said to Lucifer, who nodded. I looked to Discord, who gave him two thumbs up. Hurry back. He said as I walked to a door leading to a town and walked through into a library that was growing inside a tree by the looks of it. The smell of ink, wood, and old pages of books permeated the air. A purple coated unicorn was walking down the stairs, floating books in front of her obscuring discord, but she must have caught a glimpse of him because she doubled over dropping all the books. That's Twilight Twig, he said holding back some laughter. My eyes became half-lidded. That's Twilight Sparkle, I don't know if I've seen her before, I corrected. Twilight scrambling to her hooves when looking at the Chaos God, she glared. Discord, what are you doing here? She said defensively through clenched teeth. I need your dragon, he said simply. No, she quickly replied. I don't think I have any choice in the matter. He sounded villainous and looked upon him with disapproval. Twilight's horn glowed. He's not going anywhere with you alone, she said with a hint of anger. I'm not alone, he said which gave her pause. At that moment, I wondered if I can let other ponies see me. Then the door behind Discord and I burst it open. An already Pinkie Pie and Fluttershy, a walking pile of boxes and bags. It slumped down, and a purple dragon with green scales wiped his scale at the forehead. Oh, darling, Spiky Wiky, thank you for... Already stopped in mid-sentence as they all looked at Discord, and the only one happy to see him was Fluttershy, who trotted up to him. Oh, um... Hi, I didn't know you were going to be in t t town she said softly. Hello, Fluttershy. This is a bit of a spur of a moment on business. He said softer than his usual tone. You look tired. Have you been eating right? She asked with eyes of concern, evaluating him. I looked then at Pinky, and not said a word because she was staring at me. There was no doubt she could see me. I didn't know how she could, and she was frightened. I could taste it, like a cold metallic taste. I'm simply tired. I was letting me frank meet tasks less can require done. Right now, I need a little spanky wanky, he said. Like I said, you can't have him, Twilight said defensively. I closed my eyes at this moment and took a deep breath, and soon the room became cold, as wisps of warm air became mist in the front of the mouths of the living. Then I opened my eyes, Discord simply crossed his arms. I don't have a choice, he said again. Discord, stop messing around, Rarity said, taking a step back. I'm not here to take spanky wanky away for good. I began to explain. But their looks gave me an indication of what I said was odd. My cheeks reddened, but thanks to Lestia I had my hood up. Discord was holding his sides, doubling over, laughing. <laughs> Discord, I said angrily. I'm sorry, I can't help it. He said through the fits of laughter. A small dragon stepped forward hesitantly. I'm Spike, why do you need my help? Who are you exactly? He asked. I'm Death, I require your dragon's fire to ignite the furnace of Hades. I said, Rarity fainted, Twilight's jaw dropped, Pinky gave a large smile, and Fluttershy let out a soft, oh dear. I need him right now and I don't have time to waste. I pressed. Twilight was the first to recover and say something. No, 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 even then he's a baby and he's not going to Hades. She proclaimed a Discord frowned as he began to argue. Fluttershy was fanning Rarity with her wing as her eyes fluttered open. Rarity sat up quickly and joined Twilight's side. I disregarded them and focused on Spike who was quiet looking at the ground. He seemed lost in thought, till he looked up at me with his eyes of steely resolve. I'll do it, he said, and only Pinky and myself heard first. Then Twilight and Rarity looked at him. No, Spike, it's too dangerous, Twilight began. 
Yes, dear, Twilight is right. Let Discord and Death find another dragon, Rarity said. I'll be fine, I'm with Death, what could go wrong? He said with a shrug. Both Rarity and Twilight looked at one another uncomfortably. It will be dangerous. If you feel up to it, follow me, Spike. I said as I turned to leave. Discord took that as a cue and followed out with me. Spike, you can't go! Twilight burst suddenly and Rarity nodded with a look of worry. I agree with Twilight, dear. It's too much for you. As Spike stopped and looked at them. You guys do amazing things all the time. It's my turn to do something amazing that only I can do. He said as he stood beside me. Discord waved as the door began to close. Oh, and there's a war going on between demons and warp souls. Discord said smiling. What? what? Twilight and Rarity squeaked out in high-pitched horror as the door closed. Was that necessary? I asked. No, but the look on their faces, priceless. He said smiling. So what do you want me to do? Spike asked. Breathe fire. I said simply. I can do that. He said as he displayed a small burst of emerald green flames. I looked at Discord. I did say he was a baby dragon. He said shrugging. I'm not a baby. Spike retorted. Only a baby would say he's not a baby. Discord said back. Enough. Spike, you're gonna have to breathe more flame. If you're gonna relight the furnaces. I said as I opened the door back to the steps, and I frowned. Why did you take us to the wall? Discord asked. I thought it was... I said unsure. Just then, smoke and fire exploded in front of us, making Spike scream in terror and find safety behind me. Death, said the smooth voice as the smoke cleared, and Fire Pleaser stepped forward, greeting us. His body was covered in an insect-like armor that interlocked his joints, covering most of his body. His mane was burning brightly, as two arms protruded from his face armor. Fire Pleaser? I said just as evenly as I could. So this is the dragon. Not much of I may say. He began, as Spike's cheeks puffed out in anger, and he stepped up from behind me. I may be small, but I'm still a dragon, he said angrily. Fire gave a peeved expression. Clearly he didn't like being interrupted. Indeed, I'm here to take you to Lucifer, he said as he stepped towards us. Spike stepped back into my chest, and looked up at me fearfully. It'll be okay, I reassured him. Fire pleaser struck the ground, and we were engulfed in flames. As soon as we stood on the walls, overlooking the siege, Spike looked over the wall at the battle on the field. He stepped back in shock. This is the dragon you found to ignite my furnaces. Lucifer said, stepping towards Spike. I stepped forward protectively, as Spike's eyes showed fear. Yes, this is Spike. I introduced, placing a reassuring hoof on Spike's shoulder. His shaking lessened. He won't do this as he is now, Lucifer said matter-of-factly. Lucifer's blade-like horn glowed, and a beam of black smoke engulfed. I felt anger and surprise. Discord looked on in shock. Spike screamed and shielded himself fruitlessly. Lucifer's magic seized, and Spike looked at his claws. What did you do? I asked him before he could answer. Spike's eyes glowed purple, and he fell forward in a cry of pain, clutching the ground as his body began to grow. His small green spikes became sharper as his tail and torso grew longer. He stopped after several intense moments and his entire body was shuddering. He looked up at Lucifer, with a very predatory-like face, of cut angles sharp as diamond. He pushed himself upright and now looked at us. He had grown up at least two heads taller than me, and his original chubby baby fat was traded for a lean figure of a teenager. What? He said in surprised confusion. Now I should be able to breathe flames large enough, Lucifer said looking at Spike. Spike looked at me as his clenched claws tight now, with a rekindled fire in his eyes. I feel stronger. I feel like I can do this. He said smiling as his newly gained sharpened teeth glinted in the light. Oh, I bet. Cause you're not Spike. Lucifer said as all of us looked at him. The fall of heaven, Hades, and everything in between will cease to exist. Spike looked at me as he gulped. Sounds great. He said feebly. Okay, what all happened to the story, um, well, there was the thing where death made up with the main six, which is always fun, and, um, what else do we got here? Oh yeah, right, Spike. There's gonna be something going on with Spike, which is gonna be pretty cool, and apparently he's now a teenager, so that's gonna be a lot of fun, too. Um, there's really not much of this chapter, isn't there, from, um, but I'm... Um, there's going to be more next chapter, I do believe, so it's going to be a lot more fun. So, yeah, see ya.